The Halo Infinite audio team update just dropped for us guys and it comes with a lot of great information talking about the philosophy of the audio, a reveal of a new power weapon in Halo Infinite, and an amazing comparison between the Halo 5 and the Halo Infinite battle rifle audio. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So 343 gave us a gigantic development update about Halo Infinite, with this time focusing on the audio team and how to immerse yourself within the world of Zeta Halo. In this update, they gave us a lot of really amazing audio clips of review, as well as a clear visual of what a new power weapon in Halo Infinite for the Brutes are going to look like. So if you guys like these new and informational videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite. Make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So let's give you the TLDR. I want to hit you up with all the amazing content we got up with front with this video first, and then we'll hop into some more discussion and the topics that they talked about within this development update to give you the nice TLDR of everything. So let's jump right into the actual content in here. So you heard me talk about the new power weapon in Halo Infinite, and that is true. They showcased this one, not a full model, but a nice concept art of a weapon called the Skewer. This is a banished brute weapon that just looks super awesome. It's just that blade on it looks super reminiscent of like the classic brute weapons that you've seen previously. That kind of reminds me of like a Gears of War kind of like classic assault rifle, if that's what it's called or whatever kind of weapon. Looks really awesome. Look at the barrel though. Really interesting. Like, wait, how does it shoot anything? Well, it shoots one thing. Now, one thing it shoots is a large spear. So I'm not sure if there's like a thread attached to it or anything, but it's just really cool to know that they're shooting spears at people, which is so brutish, which is just so awesome to think about. And we also have a sound bite of what this weapon sounds like. They even go in depth about how the sound of this weapon came together. It's like a layering of like five to 10 different types of sounds put together. It's really cool and interesting. You guys want to check that out. But the sound of that weapon is just it packs a punch, man. And then you mentioned about that, how they wanted the weapons from the, the banished side of things sound very visceral and very, well, brutish. But when you hear this weapon shooting, it sounds like you're getting just like a nice punch right into something, which is exactly what you want for this kind of weapon. Awesome job. Now talking about audio, we actually got a chance to hear what it sounds like to be inside of a Forerunner structure on Zeta Halo. And this is what it sounded like. In this recording, it certainly sounded like two pieces of audio that kind of blended together halfway through. So it sounds like two different types of environments. Second one had a bit of like a, a melody kind of hum to it, kind of like what you would hear from like, say, Guilty Spark in a way, obviously not the exact kind of tone, but having kind of like a, mel a random melody kind of hum kind of going around in the background, like a Sentinel or like a monitor is kind of like at work doing their thing. To me, this just screams like CE vibes when it comes to the audio of with inside a Forerunner structure. It's hollow, it's empty, it's ominous, it's a bit spooky, but also a bit techy at the same time. Really interesting sounds and I really like that. And this is honestly my favorite part is the audio of the Halo Infinite battle rifle. We get a nice clear indication of what it sounds like and the guy got a nice comparison between Halo 5 and Halo Infinite and it's night and day difference guys. Huge difference. We'll first play the Halo 5 battle rifle and then we'll play the Halo Infinite battle rifle back to back so you can hear what we're talking about. Yeah, that Halo Infinite battle rifle might be the best battle rifle sound I have ever heard. It really packs a punch and you really hear a clear one, two, three of the burst compared to the Halo 5, which is much more brighter, much more trebly and just like lighter and daintier kind of sound to it. 343 also posted a video of them smashing a piano. And one interesting part about it, yeah, you have some really cool sounds to it, but listen to when they brought in dry ice with this strings of the piano.
That straight up sounds like something screaming. Some kind of non-human thing screaming for its life. Like that sounds so cool. <laughs> There's another audio clip in here where it's just like, it's literally it's titled montage within the audio file, but it's literally just like a compilation of just tons of different kinds of sounds that you would hear in the game but it's just like so many different things that all could be so many different things that like it's really nothing really worth talking about honestly but it just sounds really cool like it's mechanical sounds with like ambient noises and things like that it's nothing really to really pinpoint exactly like oh that's a hunter or oh that's a new kind of thing it all just kind of sounded like noise and link in the description down below if you guys want to check out the update for yourself but uh, i mean you can listen to it and it's kind of you know whatever so all the content out of the way, let's go into the discussions of what they were talking about with the audio in Halo Infinite. So the main takeaway from this whole thing is that their audio philosophy really matches along with like the art style that they're going with Halo Infinite. Or like previously in Halo, it was very messy, overly complicated, and what they're trying to do now obviously with Halo Infinite is to simplify things, break it down to its core, and really have it stand out better. And that seemed to be the general philosophy with the audio as well, that they don't want to clutter you with so much noise and detail that you get lost with the, the swarm of audio. They want things to really pop and stand out. They even created a whole new system for audio that Joseph Staten in this update referred to as the threat detection system. Essentially the way they tune the audio where if something's getting shot at you, you hear it much louder. If it's off in a distance or not shot at you, it's a little bit of a lower volume just so you can prioritize your targets better. Previously in Halo, all audio had equal amount of prioritization and just lowered the volume of the audio the further away it was. This next image I'm showing you is from the gameplay demo of July that are showcasing all the bits and pieces of where audio is indicated within this area. Every dot is a wireframe sphere of what the audio of that area so should sound like. Previously in Halo, they just had to manually place every single item because the environment was static. Every time you go to the environment, it's the same thing every time. Obviously things are gonna be very different with Halo Infinite. They're quoted here saying, we use this system to procedurally place hundreds of thousands of audio emitters across the ring. So not necessarily procedurally generated, but basically using smart AI to place audio where it needs to be. Now this is very interesting for gameplay because why does this area need to sound different at different times of the day? Very interesting. That's all for the TLDR. I will be breaking this down in further videos as well, going some really deep dives. This is just the everything you need to know from this development update. Again, link in the description down below if you want to read it for yourself. If you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen and here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.